are back to hunting season once again, fellow hunters, and now Monster Hunter Rise is available for the Nintendo Switch. Time to sharpen your skills, your blades, and hammers, as new and returning monsters will be rampaging to Kamura Village. With more furry companions joining the hunt and new tricks or wire bugs up your sleeves, taking down hordes of monsters will be another adventure to take on either alone or with your gang of friends. But for the curious bunch who are still having second thoughts about becoming a hunter, here are 5 reasons why Monster Hunter Rise is awesome. Also, I need squad mates. Alright, before we go on, I would like to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel to encourage me to make more videos like this. I was a little surprised to get so much love on that Guilty Gear Strive video I made, and your subscription and support is encouragement to make even more, so let's go. Monster Hunter Rise is heading back to a more eastern themed world with Kamura Village being your base of operations. Here you can prepare your gear for the hunts, meet up with other players at the gathering hub, or interact with a cast of colorful characters. From the Hugh Jackman stand-in to elven looking shrine maidens, I'm sure you'll grow fond of them. No need to ask, I'm definitely in it for the elven looking shrine maidens. There are different locales for you to explore in Rise showing its unique ecosystem with different creatures living in the area. Just like in Monster Hunter World, you will be able to explore each of these large-scale areas seamlessly with no in-between loading times. This for me is one of the biggest innovations they came up with for Monster Hunter. Thanks to this, exploring was more engaging, and that's also rewarded in this game because you find loot, shortcuts, and even temporary buffs the more you uncover about the map. With new ferocious monsters and other returning fan favorites giving you the beatdown, it's time to get a new trick to aid you in battle. The new Wirebug lets you navigate around the locale with ease. Dash through the air, climb walls to access hard to reach areas and shortcuts. It's also a handy tool to get you out of danger from deadly monster attacks or even as an evasive move to get up on your feet faster when getting knocked down. The Wirebug also isn't just about being evasive or having mobility. It also lets you dish out something special called Silk Bind Techniques. All 14 weapons have them, and they can vary between direct attacks, guards, counters, or something more technical like rapid sheathing for the greatsword. So be sure to experiment with these moves to help you turn the tides. The Monster Hunter series introduced us to the lovable felines called Calicos that assist us throughout our hunts by helping us track our marks, aiding us in battle, or even cooking better than I ever can. Now, Ryze introduces us to the canine partners called Palamutes. These best boys can be ridden to traverse areas faster, and they are formidable partners in combat as they are also capable of a bit of fighting. These guys can even pull you out of battle quickly if you call for them should you need to recuperate. You can bring both your Palico and Palamute partner on missions when playing solo, and both can assist you in your battles, but you'll have to deal with the painful decision of only bringing one of them during multiplayer. Using the same tricks isn't enough to beat the newer monsters, in fact some of us might be crying about the moves you preferred on some of your favorite weapons. Well, fear not, Monster Hunter Rise got you covered with the new Switch skills. Devs mentioned that sometime later in the game you'll be able to customize not only your silk bind techniques, but also some of the normal attacks that go along with your weapon of choice, allowing every weapon the versatility it needs to be able to take on pretty much any monster that the game chooses to throw at you. Another cool feature to the game is Wyvern Riding which lets you control monsters you are fighting against. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now possible to become a Rathalos main. Deal enough mounting damage which is pretty much also set by an attack to stagger a monster and they'll eventually fall into a state where you can ride them. Now you can bring your newfound friend to the fight and have them do the work for you. No other monster to use? No problem, just mount the monster you need to take down and introduce them to the nearby wall. Several times. A catastrophic event occurs at Kamura Village once every 50 years where countless monsters come to visit to wreak havoc. Rampage is a new quest type where waves of monsters will attack your village and you must defend it at all costs. Set up hunting installations in key areas to help fend off incoming attacks. Some NPCs will be even coming to assist you. As your stronghold levels up, you can get stronger hunting installations and in some cases get stat buffs. But be prepared as stronger variants called Apexes will appear to cause chaos in your stronghold, so team up with other hunters and take them down. 
So it's starting to sound a lot like Tower Defense but with Monster Hunter, right? And I think that sounds amazing how they plan to have hordes of monsters banging at your gate while playing with 3 other people and have the Nintendo Switch handle all the action. I'm actually very curious as to how this would play out. The Rampage, which tiny trivia here, seems to be loosely based on the Japanese folklore of Hyaki Yagyo or the Night Parade of 100 Demons. The whole Japanese aesthetic, Magnamolo Soda looking like a traditional demon, and the idea of dealing with a horde of monsters that happens in some sort of cycle seem to line up perfectly with this idea. Games that have a heavy basis on cultural things we may have not known otherwise means I'm learning a little while playing my favorite game, which I highly appreciate. And there you have it, we hope this hypes you up for Monster Hunter Rise as to become a full-fledged hunter with the game now being available on the Nintendo Switch. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like thing so we know that we did a good job. If you want to pull other people into this Monster Hunter rabbit hole, go ahead and share this video and I'll pull them in. But if you just want to check out other stuff that we make, you'll find that in RaymarieFiles.com. You'll also find us in social media, that is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Of course, subscribing to this YouTube channel is also a great help. Hopefully this little list has convinced you to come join me during the next rampage. I'll see you guys there.